State Representative Jake Elsey is now congressman elect. Despite not having the endorsement from former President Donald Trump, he edged out his competitor, Susan Wright, who was hoping to fill her late husband's seat for the 6th Congressional District here in Texas. Let's take a look at the results again with 98% of polling locations reporting. Elsey won with 53% to 46% of the vote. Earlier this evening, Elsey talked with 47% of the vote, correction. LZ talked to supporters earlier this evening at his watch party. He had the support from former Texas Governor Rick Perry, as well as many Texas legislators. He's currently a representative in Texas, and his performance in the general election knocked out any chance for a Democrat to compete for the seat. In November, LZ carried Ellis County, but right won Taryn and Navarro. Tonight, LZ gained in Tarrant, winning the county. Tonight, reporters asked him about if the election was a surprise and what he thought about the role of Trump's endorsement. How did it play? He didn't directly mention Trump's name, but he did have this to say about the campaign dynamics. And I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of uh, political scientists looking at the, the various aspects of this campaign uh, for a long time to come based on the personalities involved and the way they, that the campaigns were, were, uh, were run. Uh, and that, so that's for other people to worry about. You know, what I'm worried about now is in the next few days, taking the oath of office in Washington, D.C. and doing the work of the, for the people of the 6th District of Texas. On the other end of the race, the crowd was very lively all night until Susan Wright spoke and conceded the race. Again, she was hoping to fill her late husband's seat. Ron Wright died last year due to cancer complications and COVID. And now Wright was talking with supporters. She had a lot of support, of course, from President Trump, him reiterating his endorsement of her when she made it to the runoff. But she also had support from state and local uh, lawmakers as well. She was running uh, to try to mirror President Trump's uh, campaign talking about things like the border, building the border wall, and talking about tax cuts. It was not enough, though, in this race. She did not perform as well in Tarrant County, a county that she won in the general election. She started to get emotional when she thanked her supporters and thought about her husband and hoping to finish his race. Take a listen. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate everything you did. Please, please, please don't, start your, don't stop your engagement. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. I love you. Thank you to all of the right staff. From the bottom of my heart, you're wonderful. Thank you. Amen. Tonight, Governor Abbott reacting to the results and congratulating Jake Elsey, who is now Congressman-elect. The governor called him a strong and effective leader, and Governor Abbott says he hopes to work with him and other Republican members of Congress when he gets to Congress. And so a lot of reaction. Some people seeing this race as an upset. Elsey saying that he had the support. It wasn't about the president's endorsement, but again, not mentioning the president by name.